how do we know if the vaccine is going to work against, I mean, all these other mutations and other uh, strains of the virus. So a lot of concern about, well, okay, the, the vaccine was developed for regular coronavirus, but now we have these variants, these strains and these mutations. What do we know about how the vaccine protects us against those? So we do believe that the vaccine does give us a level of protection against these new variants. However, it'll be time, some time before we know that for sure. I, I think the big question mark we have at the moment and the sort of slight concern we all have is we're paying attention to these new variants of the coronavirus that are emerging in different parts of the world. And in particular, the ones um, in South Africa and Brazil, because there's some suggestion there that both people who've already been infected with the coronavirus can get reinfected with these new variants that have changed slightly. And that would suggest that the immunity you develop after a natural infection isn't enough to protect you from a second infection. Now, sure, these second infections are much milder, so that's good. Um, but that does speak to the fact that there may be some limitations with the current crop of vaccines because they're based on the type of virus that was around a year ago. If that turns out to be the case, that some of these variants are able to break um, the protection of vaccines and give people even, even a mild infection, then the solution is to just keep tweaking the vaccines that we have so that they now look more like the current um, version of the coronavirus, not 2020's version of the coronavirus. It's like, it's like the new iPhone. So it may be that in the future, we have to have boosters that reflect the latest version of the coronavirus in the same way we do every year with the flu.